People often talk about hypocrisy as though it's a completely, totally bad thing. And while hypocrisy is not good, it doesn't negate the point they're making. Yes, 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 we all know the whole thing about a smoker smoking with a cigarette in hand telling you not to smoke. He's being a hypocrite, right? And hypocrisy is not a good thing, right? Well, that does nothing to change the fact that smoking is bad and he's giving you good advice, correct? Well, I think we can all agree on that. Just because the man is smoking does not suddenly change the fact that smoking is bad, right? Yeah, this is simple. Um, and why am I even doing this, right? Well, because there's so much disagreement, especially on the good old internet, about hypocrisy and what it means. Somehow, people have gotten this idea that hypocrisy completely negates whatever is being said. If someone who is known for getting into barroom fights and being an angry drunk tells you, don't do that, it doesn't suddenly change it so that, well, you should do that. He's obviously a hypocrite. You shouldn't listen to him. Do what he's saying not to do. No, of course not. That's stupid. So why is it that when we have people who may be engaging in hypocrisy, and as I note it repeatedly, I don't like hypocrisy, but why is it that people have decided that hypocrisy instantly means that their following point is irrelevant? Because that's not true. Often, actually, is it where someone who is engaging in a bad behavior can probably give you the really good advice on why not to do it. Someone addicted to heroin probably can give you a really good explanation for why you shouldn't do heroin. It's almost like throwing out good advice because the person giving it has actually lived the bad part of that good advice. That, that's terrible, because they're in a position to know, aren't they? A smoker, again, he's in a position to know intimately why smoking is bad. And you should, in fact, I'd say in those cases, like the smoker one or the heroin addict, you should really listen to these people despite their hypocrisy because they really know what they're saying. The heroin addict, as I said, and it bears repeating, knows why you shouldn't be addicted to heroin. So when we're talking about hypocrisy, I really think everyone needs to keep in mind this idea that hypocrisy does not actually negate what is being said. You can look askance at a person who does act in a hypocritical way or say hypocritical things. You can be like, well, he's being a hypocrite. That's not good. And yes, that's fair to note. But let us not make the mistake of just throwing out whatever they're saying based purely on being a hypocrite. Listen to what they say, and if it doesn't work, if it's wrong, well then throw it out. You used your mind on it then. You were analytical. You judged it based on what it was. It's just like those people who throw things out purely for a grammatical error. Oh, well your entire like three-page argument against me is invalid because you didn't use you are, you know, instead you used your. Well, that's stupid. It's nonsense. It's picking at things that shouldn't be picked at. And it's judging an argument based entirely on the wrong points. Is the argument sound? Is it valid? Does it have merit? Those are the things that matter. Not, are they being a hypocrite, or did they misconjugate a word, or anything else like that. It's picking at the little things when you have a big issue in front of you. You know, you're, don't address the gunshot wound, your clothes are getting dirty with blood. It, it's the same sort of thing. You're missing the real point here, which is that they're giving you some good advice, perhaps, and you're just going to throw it out because, well, screw them. They're hypocrites. They can't know anything. Well, I beg to differ. Everyone has some piece of advice to pass on, whether they learned it from the good way, you know, observation and learning, or the bad way, through living the darker times, the rougher aspects, the bad decisions. If they lived them and they learned from them, they have advice you should be listening to, hypocritical or not. Even if they're still making the bad decisions as they tell you to avoid them, well, in fact, that's actually an even better reason to listen to them because they're in the middle of it. Someone who broke their arm can give you really good advice on why you shouldn't break your arm. Again, it's living the bad gives you a good perspective on why it's bad and why you shouldn't be involved in it. It is one thing to say, don't join a gang. It's another to hear from a gang member why you shouldn't join a gang. So, let's take hypocrisy for what it is, which is not a good behavior, it's not something you want to engage in, but let's not take that too far. Let's not throw out potentially a useful and valid point because of someone's mistakes. Just something to think about.